Thanks for joining us. I'm Ann Emanuel. Tonight, Mississippi is getting national recognition on the education front. Students in the state are making huge strides in reading scores. Our reporter, Quintus Jones, has reaction from the governor and from a school district. Oh, that's right, students across the state are making the grade. This, as last year's report card shows, high marks when it comes to elementary reading scores. Some calling it the Mississippi miracle. Well, we are really proud of all of our fellow educators and students across the state of Mississippi. For years, Mississippi students have ranked at or near the bottom when it comes to fourth grade reading, but that has changed. The fact of the matter is Mississippi is last no more when it comes to education. This in large part because of a literacy program the Department of Education launched nearly 10 years ago. With that effort came the deployment of literacy coaches, um, professional development offered to teachers and school administrators all over the state. And the numbers show their hard work has paid off. Mississippi students are now ranking above the national average. You look at fourth grade reading and fourth grade math, we're 21st in the nation. We're 23rd in the nation in fourth grade math. Um, we're not last anymore and that's something I think that most Mississippians can celebrate and, and are very proud of. Many schools have benefited from the literacy initiative, including the Laurel School District. Here's Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Christina Pollard. We've seen an increase in the number of our students in third grade meet the requirements for fourth grade promotion, and we're very proud of that. The governor is also proud. He says with these gains, Mississippi students can one day reach the top. And the reason for that is because we have great teachers and we have great educators and they're helping uh, ensure that our, our students are, are getting better educated. And the latest scores should be released later this month. Quintus Jones of Fox 23 News.